Hello and welcome to the 19th lesson of this Excel course. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn about data sorting and filtering. Let's get started by understanding data sorting and multi-level sorting in Excel. Here I have some data that I'll use to show you how sorting and filtering work. I have sales rep name, region and the sales that they have made. So I have a fair mix of uh, text and numbers in this data. Now if you go to data here you have a group called sort and filter where you have the left side which is devoted to sorting of data and the right side for filtering. Let me first talk about sorting. Here you have these three icons. You can directly use these icons A to Z which would either sort from A to Z or from lowest to highest in case of numbers or Z to A or highest to lowest in case of numbers. So you can quickly use these to sort your data but there could be some issues in using these icons. So for example, if I select this cell here and I use A to Z, you can see that it has sorted my entire data set, which is fine. Now let me control Z and go back. But if I select this data this way and sort it from A to Z, again, same thing happens. But if I select only this part and sort it from A to Z, you can see that this data has not been sorted. So this would not even give you a prompt if you're sorting your data by selecting this entire thing. It would only sort these this column, the leftmost column, and this data remains as it is. So for example, you can see in this case, if I go and color this cell, and now if I select this entire thing, go to data and sort it, control Z, sort it say Z to E you can see that these cells have come here while this cell remains here, which is not the data. My, dot, my data has distorted. So this is not the right way to sort the data. So it is good if you do not select this entire thing while using these icons. You can simply select one of the cells. If I just select this cell and sort it, then my data remains intact. You can also use the sort dialog box. So for example, if I select this entire data and I click on sort, this would open a sort dialog box. And here you have many options. The first option to look at is my data has headers. If your data has headers, keep this checked. If not, if you uncheck it, it would also include this in the data. And now if you sort it, even this would get sorted. So in this case, I have headers, so I would keep this checked. You can sort by, so these are three options that you can use. You can sort by the column name. Uh, here, since I have headers, these names are coming. If I do not have headers, it would show me column names. So for example, I select sales rep name. It would show me whether you want to sort by values, by cell color, by font color, or by cell icon. So in this case, it gives you a lot more flexibility and control over the way you want to sort your data. Uh, these icons only sort by value, but you can also sort by cell color, font color, or cell icon. And then you can have the order. It could be A to Z, Z to A, or a custom list in case you have something like high, medium, low, or satisfied, okay, not satisfied, dissatisfied, then you can use a custom list. In this case, let me keep this to A to Z. And now when I click OK, my data is sorted. Now let me control Z and go back. Again, let me go to sort dialog box. Here you can also use this option to add multi-level sorting. So for example, I want to first sort my data by sales rep name and then I want to add a level and sort this data by region. So for example, I want to see what are the sales done by Bob in US and then what are the sales done by Bob in Canada. So to do that, I would have to add a level. And you can see that it says sort by, this is the first level, and then by. So here I select region and I say values. And since I want the sales of US first, I would select Z to A. And now when I click OK, my data has sorted first by sales rep name. So I have all the values for Bob, all the name, uh, all these sales values for Bob. And then this is sorted by region. So first we have these uh, US values and then we have the Canada values. So I can simply do the calculations if I have to. Now let me control Z and go back and again go back to the sort dialog box. As you see, you also can sort based on cell color. So let me do one thing. Let me uh, introduce some colors here. Let me make it more vibrant. I would add red color here and maybe 
green color here. Now if I select this entire thing, and you need not select this entire data set, you can only select one cell, go to data and click on sort and Excel would automatically guess the range for you. In case it does not, then you can select this entire data thing. And now I say sales rep name by cell color and it would show you these colors that you have used. So for example, if I want this order, then I can keep this order, green, then red, and then the orange color and you can decide how do you want it do you want a uh, green color on the top or at the bottom in this case let me keep it on the top and now when i click ok you can see that you can see that it has sorted these this entire data set based on color that i have used so in this case for example uh, if i select green as the order uh, the reason it gave me green at the bottom is because I did not select anything. If I select green at the top, then it would do this. It would sort all this data set by giving me green color at the top. So again, if here you want a multi-level sorting, you can do this. You can go to sort data, uh, this icon, uh, add level button, and you again do this by sales rep, cell color, and you say red. And now when I when you click OK, you can see that red comes after green. So this is one way of doing it. You can also do this based on cell font color or cell icons if you have it. Let me clear all these colors. Now, you can also do a multi-level sorting using these icons. So if you have the data, if you have uh, these values here and this text here, you can quickly do a multi-level sorting, but there is a minor difference. So for example, I want to again get the same thing where I have Bob here and then I have US and Canada. So to do that, I would first have to sort the second level if I'm using these icons. So in this case, I would use Z to A. So this sorts it based on US and Canada. And then I go click here on uh, cells rep name and click on A to Z. And you can see it has now given me the same result that was given to me by multi-level sorting here when I added a level. So these are two ways that you can use to sort your data at multiple levels. I again have the same data set here. Now if you want to apply filter to this data set, click anywhere, go to data tab and within sort and filter group, you have this icon of filter. You can see that the keyboard shortcut is, it, shortcut is control shift L. So now when I click on filter, you can see there are icons that appear in the header of this data set. These are downward pointing arrows that appear, which indicate that the filtering is applied. Now, when I click on it, it gives me initially the first three options are for sorting the data. I can sort from A to Z, Z to A or by color. And there I have this option of text filtering. So I have equal, does not equal and all these options. Excel is smart enough to identify that there is all text data in this column. If I go here, you can see this gives me number filters. Similarly, if I had dates, then this would have given me date filters. And you can see there are a lot of flexibility here, greater than, less than, greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, above average, below average. So you can sort your data based on the data type and then how you want to do it. So for example, in text filter, let me click on equals. And here I say equals Bob. So I want to filter all these records only for Bob so that only Bob records are visible here. Now if I click OK, you can see that it has filtered all the records that have Bob in it. And you can see these color of these row change which indicate that a filter has been applied. Let me clear the filter. If you have to clear the filter, just go to this icon and clear the filter. Similarly, if I go again to text filter, click on equals to, you can see that there is an AND condition and OR condition. So for example, I use this drop down and I say it uh, does not equal to Bob and it does not equal to Joe and now when I click OK I have all these results except for the records of Bob and Joe because that is the filter that I have applied let me clear the filter from here let me also show you something I can use wildcard characters. You can see it says use question mark to represent any single character and use asterisk to represent any series of characters. So here if I type asterisk R asterisk and click OK, it would give me all the records in the sales rep name which have this alphabet R. So as soon as I click OK, it gives me all these names which have R in it. 
let me clear these filters again similarly you can play with all these options let me show you custom filter as soon as you open custom auto filter you can see that dialog box is exactly the same it only gives you a little bit of more flexibility in terms of these options available and you can use the and or or condition and again you can use wildcard characters here let me clear the filter one of the most underrated feature in Excel is advanced filtering not many people know about it and not many people use it but if you are in a situation where this can be applied this could be a really really powerful tool let me show you how it works so I have this same data set here and I apply filter to it now for example say I have to extract data here for Bob and his US sales so I would want to first filter it by Bob and then I would want to filter it by say US so I get these four records now say I have to extract this data again and again for different different conditions if I use this filtering methodology while when I go again and again to these filters then I copy this data and I paste it somewhere say here and then I again copy this data with the new filters it may be a bit more cumbersome so let me clear this I would show you how you can use advanced filter in some such situations so in case of advanced filter the idea is that you would have the same headers here and you would give the conditions in this case so let me give a border to it and these cells which are highlighted in orange these are the cells where you specify the condition and when you have specified the condition you apply that condition here and this would extract the data to some other position let me show you how it works let me first clear all these filters now in this case say again I want to do this for Bob and the region is US so I want to extract all the data which has Bob and the region is US I would select this entire data set and go to advanced and when I click on advanced it opens the advanced filter dialog box here I have two options filter the list in place be cautious in using it because it would just delete your original data and put the new list here so it is always better to use copy to another location and as soon as you select this you have these options available and it's a list range it has already guessed that my data is in B2 to D23 if you have your data in another range you can manually select it criteria range here I would select this criteria range. it is already pre-selected uh, but in case you want to have a different criteria range somewhere else you can select that criteria range as well let me select it this way and copy to so you would have to specify a location so for example if I want to copy my data here then I can simply click OK you also have the option to get unique records only in this case there would not be unique records because the sales are different for each of these well each of these rows but in case you have uh, duplicates then you can easily extract unique records now when I click OK you can see that I have these names that come here which is sales rep name region sales and this is different from this data set it is not a filtered version if I change this data this data would not change so you can quickly extract this data for example now quickly I want to get the data for Joe in Canada I'm not sure if the data is there but in, if it is there then I would be able to quickly do this list range remains the same criteria range remains the same I just need to copy it here and as soon as I click OK I have this data so you can quickly very quickly extract these data points using advanced filter similar to the conditions that we can use in filtering you can also use this, the, those conditions here so for example if you want to say filter it for asterisk or asterisk asterisk then this would work if you use this then it would identify all those names that have R alphabet in it let me show you how it works and let me make this US now again if I go to advanced I copy to another location the list range is right criteria is right and copy to is this location and now when I click OK you can see it has extracted all these names which has R in it so you can also use wildcard characters here you can also use other conditions here so for example if you want to use sales of uh, greater than 200 then let me clear this data 
let me show you how you can use even the number filters so if you have to use this data for greater than 200 just mention this condition here and now again if you go to data filter and change the copy to location and hit OK you can see that it has given you all these names and these names are those which have their sales greater than 200 in this with all these conditions so for example all these names have R in it it is from the US and you have sales greater than 200 you can very quickly change these conditions if you want you can simply change this to Bob and again apply the same filter as I just showed you and as soon as you do this it would give you the records so you can see that the power of advanced filter lies in those situations where you have to extract the data quickly for multiple conditions so advanced filter can be really really powerful tool in such situations in the end I want to quickly reiterate the fact that we also covered in Excel tables that when you convert this data range into a table filters are automatically applied to the header so for example if I select this cell or any cell in this data range and press Control T it opens the create table dialog box and if I click OK you can see that okay the header color is gone wrong so let me change the header color and you can see that this filter has already been applied it is a default property of a table if you do not want this you can go back to the contextual tab of uh, table tools design and click on filter button so the filter is removed otherwise the filter is applied by default so this is a default property whenever you convert a range into data into excel tables then this filtering is always applied and it works the same way as we just saw in this video so that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.